Okay, we have our planet ready, and it's time to bring it into Cartoon Animator 5. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click this button over here. We're going to click on Prop, and we're going to select the background number 4, which is our planet. And we're going to bring it in as a static image. Now, the way he explained is when you bring the image in, you need to go to the Z axis up here and you need to do minus, I'm going to do 6,000. And that is apparently where it sets it on the access plane. And so then you hit enter. And now you can bring it out and bring it up. We're going to leave plenty of room for, we. so we've got plenty of room for movement. Now let's bring in the next one. And that's going to be a prop. And it's going to be our little nub, Mr. Three, as a static image. Now we're going to set the z-axis on this one to minus 5,000. Then we're going to stretch it out to fit. Okay, so next one, prop, and it's going to be our foreground and static image. And this one is going to be z-axis. 4,000 minus 4,000. And then we're going to stretch it up nice and big. So we've got plenty of playroom. And our last one is going to be the rocks. Static image. And it's going to be on the z-axis, minus 3,000. And then we bring it all the way out. We want plenty of room for our movements. Okay, now, to show you what this means by why we did the 4,000, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, if you hit this little button up here, you go to the plane, what you call the plane. And if we kind of drag it, we can see that each one of these is on a different, they're equally spread out, but they're each one on a different plane. And you can take each one and move it. You can get the rock and right, just using this, you can move it forward. You can move it to the side. You can move it anywhere you want to get it just perfect. And then when you're through, you go back and you have everything lined up. Now, the reason that I showed you this is so we can see when you're using the camera, you have this arrow, which brings things closer or further away. So you can actually bring your character in or bring it out. And then you can hit this one. And when you hit it, you actually can move, and when you move, if you notice, everything moves differently. So you can actually have some 3D movement without being 3D. I just think this is just so cool because I never could figure it out before, and now I think I understand it a little. I think we'll learn more detail as we move through the lessons. I hope you have enjoyed this. Have a great day. See you in Lesson 10. Diana.